Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is uh, January 26th of 2023, and I'm doing a bonus question uh, for y'all. Uh, hopefully a premium one, or I don't even care if it's premium or not. Just, it's going to be one that I haven't done regardless, so let's, let's do it. Um, and, of course, we get a SQL question. I'll, I'll probably do an SQL question one these days, but let's do one that's an actual question. And today is a premium question, 1059, or perhaps from source lead to destination. Okay, so let's kind of see what this question is about. So given the edges of a directed graph, okay, you have an, uh, so you have an edge list, uh, okay, and source of destination, then we're going to, all paths starting from source differentiate enter destination. That is, at least one path exists. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then, uh, hmm. Or, what, what does that mean? Let's see. I want to be, oh, I mean, I kind of get the idea of what they're going for, but I want to be make sure that I'm really precise with what they're asking for. Uh, okay, so at least one path, okay. If a path exists from nodes that have no going, then that node is equal to destination. Okay, the number of possible path is a finite number. Mm. I mean, I think th this is just a death row search thing where Um, I think this is that for search, and you're just trying to see where. Um, I'm just thinking about it a little bit, just to make sure. But I think that for search will work. Um, it may have self loops and parallel edges. That's fine. Um, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Otherwise, this is a very, well, I wouldn't say very, but more trivial question. But I expect there's a lot of uh, edge cases anyway. Um, I think this is just that first searchable. And then, yeah. I'm trying to think about what, what is the best way to handle this, because I think my inclination is to do some sort of memorization um, but I think that could actually be technically well. Maybe there's like some uh, coloring based thing. And then maybe the second f thing that I can think about is actually thinking about backwards. But I don't know that I get anything from thinking about it backwards per se. Um, because I think it just becomes the same because then all your stuff has to I don't know if that's true, actually. I don't know if you can play about this uh, symmetrically. So maybe I'm wrong on that one. Um, okay, so I think because the number of paths uh, I think this one, which I wasn't quite sure about, but the number of possible paths from source to destination is a finite number, means that if there's a cycle, then we already have to return four. So we can maybe... Um, <clears throat> then now we can... I mean, well, well, one thing that we can do now is separate it into two different problems, if you will. One where, well, we have to see if there's a cycle. Um, and then the second part is whether... Um, and then the second part is, is what, you know, this maybe some sort of simulation. Um, and you have to be careful. But I think once you realize, or once you're able to prove that there are no cycles, then then the, the other part should be easier. Because I think trying to do two parts at the same time may be the tricky part. Um, this is kind of a hard of a medium one, but mm, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a simpler solution that I missed or something. But uh, yeah, let's kind of think about this. So, okay, so psycho, how, how do we do psycho? Um, do, 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 do. Mm, probably 
you can do that for search, right? There may be a lot of edges. Man, I don't even remember how to do cycle detection anymore. I mean, I guess well, in a random graph. I haven't done it in a while. Wow, I, yeah, it's true. Hmm. But that part isn't. I'm, I'm thinking about like <laughs> uh, tricky stuff with like artic art, uh, articulation articulation points uh, with that kind of depth of search. But maybe I think that's an overkill. So I'm trying to think. Uh, and you know maybe this is just like me also again being tired and lazy and whatever today. So um, so me just trying to think about how how do I do cycle detection anymore? Huh? Wow, Mary. Larry, 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 Larry. I mean, there's Freud, but that is obviously going to be too slow. You see, because the thing that I'm thinking about is that um, um, you, can, you can have a diamond, right? So you can't just be like, you know, if we've seen something, then it's a cycle because it 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 might just be like a diamond. So that's why I'm I'm thinking about man. I, I'm I've not been practiced about this. So this is good in that I'm getting practice on something that I haven't done in a while, which is kind of the point of this. So thank you for joining me and kind of doing it together. Uh, you know this, but this is the kind of stuff that I'm so bad at because I haven't been practicing. I mean. Um, Hmm. hmm. How do I? Wow. Larry, Larry, Larry. I mean, without the articulation point thing, I mean, then you can do the entry and the time, and then you can kind of think of it as. Um, I forgot what it's called, but like the, uh, the entry and exit thing, right? I guess we, we could do it. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I feel like there's an easier way, and I'm just like blanking out on it today. Um, all right, let, let's, uh, let's do adjacency list. And then we want to, man, I am just not good at this. Um, okay. I don't remember this very well, I guess, even though articulation point stuff. Um, hmm. Ooh, like the games. Is it though? Mm, I, I think it's. Well, yeah. If it's definitely if it's not done, then we just go. But in here we go entry of node is equal to t. Something like that, right? And then basically, if if um, 
if or else if it's done um, and if we haven't exited yet then also I guess I don't need the done it's just entry right I'm like using duplicate fields hmm. Uh, okay, uh, psycho is a bit of true, right? Something like that. Uh, what's a negative? No, I thought it was between negative one, but okay. So if there's a psycho, then otherwise we can. We can just do it, right? And then basically, it's just about I want to say I, I want so my initial observation was going to say that if it has no exit nodes, then like if any node has no exit node other than the destination, then we're not good. Um, and you can also even say that if um, if uh, what you would call it, if uh, this means if adjacency list of the destination. So basically, if this is greater than zero, then we return false because that means that there's an outgoing thing from the destination, which automatically means that you know it either leaves or it comes back it doesn't matter right it just means that it's bad and actually we can move this to the top so because i don't know then we can it's cheaper um and then the other thing is that if i guess for i in range of n if if we visit it and um if we visit it and and uh, this is zero, then that means that we ended there at some point. So then we return false, otherwise we return true. I don't know that this is exhaustive enough, uh, and apparently it's not for this case, for the diamond case. Diamonds in the sky. Hmm. I'm guessing that it is here, but I could be wrong. But let's put out the entry and then exit. That was the thing that I was curious about. So zero. One. Two, and then it goes back. Three. So this is four, and then this is five. And then basically it thinks that no this is already exited so then that means that it is not going backwards in a cycle so that's good right right yeah okay oh so the cycle thing is correct so this is returning force why is this returning force Oh, I, I forgot to check whether I is not destination. <laughs> of course, that's going to always return for us because the destination that is always true. Um, uh, silly mistake. Let's see. Yes. That's kind of a hard one, to be honest. Maybe not. Maybe you could logic it out and I kind of made it more complex than it is. I think... The psycho thing, I, I don't know. Like, can you do it without the psycho? Like, maybe, like, is, 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 maybe I can see the time. Like, did I make it more complex than it needed to be? Maybe all it needs is that. No, because you, you definitely need a psycho thing, because this could be true. 
Um, yeah, this could be true, but without the cycle thing, then you don't get it. Um, yeah. So what is the complexity here? This is going to be linear time, linear space, uh, both of which is V plus E because adjacency list. Um, this is all V, of course. I, I will end, but that's with that input, but that's V. Um, this is, of course, V plus E, that record, that first search. And yeah, and this is obviously all of V. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if there's anything more to be explained about this one. I think the core part about solving this is just breaking into components. One, the cycle part, you know, uh, once you get rid of the cycles, then you can assume that everything is a DAG. Yeah, then it becomes a DAG, and then it just becomes whether um, you can think of almost like a tree, but not really. It's a DAG where there's multiple destinations, and because you already ruled out cycles, then this could be true. Um, yeah. So it's really it's just case analysis, but maybe explained in a much more complex way. Um, I don't know. I am really tired though. So friends, I am going to call it a night. Uh, that's all I have. So stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Uh, bye bye.